guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video comes highly requested. This is a video that is sort of part of the category I'm working on which is giving you an insight into a blogger's life sort of on the lines of a do's don'ts. I have a whole series of videos that talks about my journey as a blogger and tips for new bloggers. I will link that stuff for you down below in the info box so make sure you give that a read. I'll probably make a playlist as well by the time this video goes up and link it in for you uh, to see more. Another one of the videos that has come in requested from a couple of you is um, a little tour on how I shoot my videos like my setup details etc etc if you are one of the people who wants to see that video go ahead right now pause this video and go into the comments and just let me know tell me you want to see the shoot setup video so I know if there's enough of you out there I will for sure film that it's something I'm very very open to obviously I'm here to share as much as I can um, today's video is about a set of gadgets that I think every blogger must have now naturally this is a list that I believe every blogger must have if you think you can skip one of them or have a replacement go ahead and sound off in the comments I'm always reading and responding and I'm here to listen um, also I just want to say that there will be different versions to things so I'll try and mention as many like variations that there might possibly be for one particular product um, but let me know your thoughts on this video before I dive into my video in itself I want to just quickly remind you guys to please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell button so you keep coming back for more videos okay so now it's it's time to dive into the gadgets I think every blogger must have. Gadget number one and I think this one is going to be the most obvious one. I'm going to say that you obviously need to have a camera. Now this could be an SLR like the one I'm using to film this. It could be a simple vlog cam like the one I've been using for so long. My vlog cam broke early in 2019. Um, the long time followers will probably know that. Or it could be something as simple as the camera on your smartphone. I feel like if you have a camera of any type it is absolutely fine, great, Way to go. Most of us have smartphones these days where the camera is of absolutely amazing quality. So since March 2019, actually since Feb 2019, all the travel vlogs you've been seeing on my channel, even on my um, Instagram are basically 90% shot on my phone. The rest of the 10% are probably because I've used a GoPro, which would be another kind of a camera you could choose to have. It really depends on what you shoot, what type of a blogger you are. If you're into travel, you're into fashion, you're into beauty, um, there's so many different types. Lives style just pick a camera that works for your requirement your budget and utility because naturally if you're someone who doesn't like to carry around a bulky camera and SLR may not at all work for you. I'm someone who carries my SLR around because if I'm doing certain beauty shots videos I prefer the HD quality of my camera. The camera I use is a Canon 6D Mark II and the phone I use is an iPhone 10. Yeah, so now you have those basic details as well. And I think that whatever other version, and I use a GoPro as well, I use a GoPro Hero 6. So whatever works for you, pick something and just go with it. But naturally, you will need a camera. Okay, gadget number two is just as obvious as gadget number one. You are going to need a laptop or a computer or a desktop. Basically, a computer of some kind. I prefer going with a laptop because I feel like with my travel and with just its mobility, it's lightweight, it's really perfect. I use a MacBook Air and uh, it works really beautifully for me, touch wood. This is uh, a machine I've been using for about four and a half years now, I think. And uh, it's worked really, really well for me so you need to have a computer of some kind for you to upload on your YouTube or your blog with or for you to edit your pictures on or just in general write your stories on type your stories out on and save them and I will highly recommend that you save and archive as much info as you can with you offline as you keep online and share just so you always have a backup that's really important to me saving info offline brings me to gadget number three now I cannot stress enough on the importance of of a hard drive okay hard drives are a blogger's life especially if what you do has a lot to do with producing photos and videos if you're into text maybe you may not need any of these babies but I need hard drives oh my god I need hard drives I feel like because the number of photos videos saving things keeping data needing to go back to it later 
This is sort of like digital real estate. The one in my hand is a WD hard drive, but I also have hard drives from Seagate. These are the two brands that I've really grown to love and rely on over the last few years. And uh, it just they've just always worked for me. You make sure you get hard drives with warranty, with bill. Please always buy things with warranty, with bill, so that there's always a record for it. You can always go back to the brand and say, hey, there's a problem. If God forbid there ever is a problem. So invest in hard drives. Make sure they're good brands. And I would recommend. in this in this um category of products i would actually go ahead and give you an add on tip try and get hard drives like say for example you want a 2 tb hard drive i would recommend you buy two 1 tb hard drives even though it may be a little more expensive instead of buying one 2 tb hard drive because the minute your one hard drive gets really loaded up it could slow your machine down i'm aware that my cat has stepped into the frame but we're going to let her sit there because it's her spot and it's her house and she actually snaps here very often so I'm just going to let her come and sit. Let's not get distracted by her. Nevers, you want to say hi? Okay, I'm on number 4. Now, this one is optional. I think you should have it especially like if you're home or at your home office or in your office setup because your computers can last longer if you look after them. This technically I would not call an essential, but it's an add-on and I think it's a great add-on. It's a laptop fan now this is a machine that basically has four fans here you plug it via usb into your laptop and it basically keeps the base of your laptop really nice and cool when your laptops heat up because you're running multiple softwares on them or editing videos um, or photos or just running multiple you know um, tabs options softwares whatever whatever it is that you're doing on your computer if you have a lot going on on it it gets hot really easily you may have noticed and a fan like this can actually help your computer stay cool and because it's staying cool it will perform better it will get your tasks done faster this one is from a brand called Topmate i will go ahead and link a whole bunch of things down below in the description section i promise um from the camera i'm using to a couple of other gadgets i'm about to mention next they will be all linked down below in the info box so i will link this baby along with a couple of other options for you as well gadget number 5 um i think it's very important for every blogger even if you're a travel blogger uh, not necessarily even if you're into beauty or anything to have a good tripod now the tripod that my camera is currently sitting on is a vanguard tripod it's a really good brand so it's a tad bit more expensive than a few others but my point is you need to have a tripod because if there's nobody to shoot for you you can just set it up on a tripod and sit down and talk to the camera or take your picture with a timer most of the really like um SLRs like the high end cameras a Canon or a Nikon or any others come with apps that you can use on your phone so i could be standing here with my with my camera on my tripod and taking a picture from here through the Canon app on my phone which is really handy like right now i have my laptop set up over here next to me that i'm looking at as we speak and i can see what my frame is like so I can do all of that because my camera is placed properly, and of course, my camera can only be placed properly if I'm on a tripod. Um, but when I'm traveling, sometimes I take the liberty of not taking the full tripod. Sometimes I take one of these babies along. This is called a gorilla pod. It's basically a smaller tripod, and it has legs that move like really like this. Stuff. I mean, of course, it's really firm, so it takes a little bit of effort. but basically you can mold it around the way you want and these little balls go everywhere and i'm not doing a very good job of displaying it right now but i promise you it's really easy to use i just haven't like moved this one in shape for a while okay there you go so you can move it any way you want um i'll go ahead and link some gorilla pods as well as tripods for you down below it's just tiny you know, so it's easy to fit into your suitcase although the one i have from vanguard that my lap that my um, camera is currently on it goes all the way to being this small as well so it depends on the kind of budget you have it depends on the kind of usage also it depends on the genre of the blog where you are just putting it out there and number 6 i feel like this is probably the last gadget like essential i think everyone needs to have i'm going to highly recommend that you invest in a really good light now i'm like i do a lot of beauty content i'm a beauty travel fashion lifestyle uh, content creator but say for example you're into travel or you're into food you don't need a ring light like the one sitting over here next to me it's a nice big one um it's about 18 inches or 24 inches in diameter i will check again and link it for you down below in the info box but you could work with something that's a tad bit smaller which brings me to something like this so this is something i picked up for myself last year as you can see in the picture over here it's a tiny little ring light that basically sits on the lens um i'm going to open it and show it to you 
So this is how small it is. It's a ring light. It's actually white, but if you want to make it orange, you can make it orange with just this tiny little add-on. It sits on the edge of your lens. So if you're into food and you want to go really close and you want to make sure you have good light on your food, something like this could be really handy for you. For me, I use this when I'm traveling. I can't take a big fat ring light like the one I have over here when I'm traveling. So if I'm doing like on the go beauty videos or just on the go travel vlogs where I think I'm going to use my SLR and you can't control actual light like natural light or ambient light in hotel rooms or anything so i just plug this onto my slr and um, i'm lit another option i actually want to show you is one of my re most recent purchases i actually bought this just last week which is when the idea of filming this video came to me um this is it's a Technically, I mean, it's a light, but I guess it's an, also an add-on gadget of its own kind. Um, so it's basically a really interesting little ring light, which is about this small. Again, it can be white light, orange light, like middle light. You can dim it. You can make it stronger. I'm going to try and plug this into my laptop to show you. So it comes with a little USB. It's brand new. That's why there's still plastic on it. I've only used it once. So you switch it on and this is what it would look like and then you can go into orange and then you can go back to white and then you can make it super bright or you can make it like dimmer like this. And what's beautiful about this actually which is what I'm coming to is that this little thing comes with two um, wires, two connections. One is the light which is what you're using to probably throw on yourself and this is like a little thing for your phone. So if you're about to do an Instagram live session or stories or you're about to make an IGTV where you want a really nice simple um, light setup or you just need some light on your face and you want to tuck your phone to record it, this is a really great equipment to have at hand. It takes a tad bit of getting used to because of the balance because there's this huge clip at the base as you can see and it's really tight. I've only used this once. I went live on Instagram um, a couple of days ago and I used it for the first time. So the balance takes a little bit of time but it's it's really, really great. And uh, I think it made for a really good investment. That's a gadget that I think could come in really handy to you as well. And while I'm talking about it, even though I don't necessarily put this in an essentials list, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of my DJI gimbal. They've just come up with a new version. I actually gifted one of my friends that um, because he was looking for a gimbal and I was gonna buy him a gift for his wedding, blah, 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 long story. But um, those gimbals are really nice. And you guys have asked me a bunch of times about what I use in my hand for my vlogs and how it's so stable and steady and stuff. So that's that's what I'm using in combination with my phone. I've tucked my phone into the gimbal and uh, that just works really well. So if you're into like travel videos but your hand is shaky um, and you just want to use your phone, that's a really like super affordable uh, product to go ahead and invest in. Um, just a little disclaimer, I mean I'm at no point saying you have to have like high-end expensive gadgets you can make a phone work just as well as an SLR if you know how to do your stuff you always have to figure around fiddle with an equipment a gadget and really get to know how it works to optimize it best my vlog camera used to be the Sony RX 100 Mark IV which was slightly expensive I remember when I bought it in 2017 I think I paid about 60,000 or 70,000 or something like that I can't remember right now um, but and it broke last year and I didn't want to go spend that much more on it so instead I spent about I think maybe around 10,000 ish on the gimbal instead and I'm using my phone and it's working beautifully it's working brilliantly so just pick and choose what works for you if you are a blogger watching this video a content creator watching this video I really hope this video has been helpful for you if you're just an audience member who's been curious I hope it's also been helpful for you if you want to if you want me to do more videos in this series please go ahead and let me know down below in the comments because I'm very, very open um, to reviewing more gadgets in details, to sharing more of my insights, to just putting more content out there that I think will be useful to you and it doesn't necessarily have to be beauty or travel. It can be something like this which is so different from everything else I've put out in the past. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've already clicked that subscribe button. If you haven't, please go do it now and turn those bell notifications on also so you get all my updates and keep coming back for more videos thank you for watching i love you very much bye